My name is Omar Wadi Dean of the African Ancestral Chamber, and today I'd like to present to you a short version of the Yang family style Tai Chi, which I will be presenting and demonstrating at our upcoming African Ancestral Day celebration on October the 4th at the 10th Street Baptist Church, 2300 Fairman Avenue over Church Hill. Before me doing the demonstration, I'd like to just say a little bit about Tai Chi. It is a martial exercise. It's a soft style and low impact. It's great for people who are a bit seasoned. And it's a, a great way to re-energize your inner system and exercise every part of your being physically, mentally, and spiritually. God, the divine presence, has instilled within us so many different energies and so many different vibrations that are moving throughout our body all throughout the day. When Tai Chi is being expressed, you are focusing on this divine energy that the divine creator has instilled within all of us. We begin to move the energy throughout our body and what it makes it different from other exercises is that not only are you working the outer muscles of your body, you're also working the inner muscles and the inner beings. You're working the structures and the superstructure of your body, the lungs, uh, your heart, your kidneys, your intestines, everything is being massaged and everything is being moved with this energy as you perform the exercise. As we know in life, there are uh, systems and balances and the law of opposites and also the law of balances, like I said again, in the Chinese philosophy, it's called yin and yang. These two forces complement themselves. One is in, which is submissive, and one is out, which is your more positive and your aggressive pushing. When you do Tai Chi, you have a combination of these movements, it's a swaying motion, it's a beautiful exercise, and it is in harmony with nature. The beautiful thing about being in harmony with nature is that you can notice that when you have the different forms and the different segments of this particular exercise, they are even named after certain creatures in the universe. You have a move called Grass the Sparrow's Tail. You have a move called Needle at the Sea Bottom. You also have a move called the Swan Spreads Its Wings. Some people say the White Crane or the Stork Spreads Its Wings. It is a great exercise. It is so beneficial to you in all areas, as I said, physically, mentally, and spiritually. It's an all-comprehensive exercise. What I'd like to do is present to you right now a demonstration of the short style of the Yang family style of Tai Chi.
I hope you enjoyed the demonstration. Uh, I did have intention of performing it on the other side also. Um, it's just the opposite. It's a mirror. And like I said, you have in the uh, laws of nature, the law of opposites. Up, down, back, forth. And in doing these things and presenting yourself to the creation, this is what is so important, is to understand the balance of these forces that exist within you as you present yourself not only to people, but to the universe. The thing that I actually really love about doing the Tai Chi exercises is that, it, like I said, it's soft style, low impact, and the elderly is an excellent, <coughs> excuse me, exercise for the elderly. And it works everything, and it's a great health benefit. Another thing I would like to express is that our upcoming African Ancestor Day celebration on October the 4th will be a interactive guest host scenario where we want the audience to participate in the different events and presentations that you will be seeing. Such as I will be doing Tai Chi, we have people doing aromatherapy, we have people doing uh, spoken word, uh, uh, drumming, dancing, of course, great food and cuisine. I'd like to mention to you all the importance of this particular African Ancestor Day celebration. The theme of our celebration this year is entitled, Thou Shall Not Play Sports on Sacred Grounds. It is our expression of the African Ancestral Chamber's opposition to the Mayor Dwight Jones' proposal to build a baseball diamond down in Shaco Bottom, which we call our sacred ground. It is called that because from north of the James River all the way to Broad Street from maybe 16th, 15th Street, maybe the 20th Street, all that area during the time of the slave trade was the largest and the most prolific trade, slave, auctioning industry in the United States at that particular time. It is the embryonic seed that has America the powerhouse that it is today. And other European countries also benefited from the slave trade of using our labor for free. And thus, they became wealthy and they became powerful. That particular area is not a chimera. It is not a figment of your imagination. This is actually the grounds where slave trading began and where slave trading ended as we begin to ship and send our ancestors to different parts of the United States to go into the arduous, torturous task of doing work for free. I also would like to say that in our opposition to this particular area, which we call our sacred grounds, is not just a presentation or a uh, commemoration of the African burial ground, which the stadium will not touch. We feel that whole area is sacred because in that area, our people were tortured, brutalized, and enslaved and sold. Families were ripped apart. There are hotels that were down there. There were slave pens. There were jails. There were stores. There were merchant uh, 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 commodities, sales. 
that were going on in that particular area because they had to clothe the slaves before they sold them. It was a huge, huge endeavor. As tragic as it was, I still like to present and let people know that that whole area is sacred and it is not just our history, our African legacy and history that is there, but it's also the history of the European who enslaved us. It is the history of the Jews. It is the history of the Masons who had maybe their first Masonic temple in that particular area there. And so it's a very historic and a very cultural site. Richmond is known across the country as being one of the tourist spots for its history and for its culture. And so we feel that it's very important that this particular area be revitalized and ameliorated and made beautiful. So we're not objecting to the beautification or the beautifying of Shaco Bottom. We think that it could be built and made into a theme, a cultural and historical theme park so that visitors and tourists, not only from America, from around the world, can come to Richmond and enjoy our legacy and enjoy our history. I also want to say that for you in the audience, please feel free to send what we are calling a call for papers so that you can voice your opinion of this particular idea of the mayor to build a baseball diamond, another baseball diamond in Shaco Bottom, or what we call our sacred grounds. I really do appreciate your input and we appreciate your participation, not only in the call for papers, but in our African Ancestral Day celebration on October the 4th. We're gonna have a grand old time and we'll be glad and so happy and so pleased if you can attend. I'd like to thank you. I'd like to thank my producer and Dwelly Gardner. I'd like to thank the members of the African Ancestral Chamber. You can contact us at africanchamber2011 at gmail.com and send in your opinions on whatever topic you think would be for us to proliferate and for us to continue to move forward as a people. I say harambe to you, ashe to you, asante sana, which means thanks for joining me and participating in this endeavor. Thank you very much. Hotel. Now that I have presented that, I'd like to go back to the Tai Chi exercise and mention that before you begin any exercise, whether it's martial art exercise, preparing to jog and run or walk, that you should always make sure that you stretch first, warm up and limber up your joints as you do these particular exercises and prepare yourself. Some of the exercises or warm-up exercises are simple and it is beneficial to you participating and practicing whatever exercises to follow. I will briefly just demonstrate some of the exercises that I do before I do my Tai Chi exercise. Please give me a moment.
Okay. <clears throat> I enjoyed that. I hope you did too. I feel blessed to be able to share some of this knowledge that I do have and been blessed with, with you. Would you have a blessed day? And would you have a healthy and prosperous life and a day full of wonder? It's the beautiful thing about life. When you live in the now and you do all you can to appreciate the now, it is so exciting and so many possibilities exist before you. Try to always feel good and think positive because what you think is what manifests itself in your life. Avoid all pitfalls and potholes in your life. You can see everything that is before you with the blessings of God, the divine creator who has given you all that you need to make the best out of your life. Thank you once again. I appreciate your participation and I appreciate you all for tuning in. Thank you.